Yo yo, I'm back with episode 16 of the Collection Log King series and there's another virtual cooking level 124. The first log slot of the day, a weird looking flag known as the Lucky Shot flag from Trouble Brewing. I've got 12 mystery boxes, please Jagex give me the stale baguette. Oh, no baguette but I got a free clue scroll. Another flag from Trouble Brewing, the treasure flag. 43 brimstone keys, I usually stack up 100 at a time but I'm getting so close to 1k log slots I just can't wait any longer. Longer. Nothing from the keys and I've searched the chest a total of 545 times. The final flag from Trouble Brewing, I have no idea how to pronounce that word but at least I can store it in the POH. This should be fun, I got around 170 god eggs to sacrifice, I'm starting off with 1173, these eggs literally take a lifetime to acquire. Ugh, what a scam, I just got a dupe piece of the evil chicken legs. Wow, 1353 egg sacrifice, that is actually insane, so check out this log. 3 pairs of evil chicken legs, 2 pairs of the feet and 1 top. All I need is the evil chicken head to complete the log and I'm 21 log slots away from hitting 1000. Some red rum from trouble brewing it's actually a useless item i wish i could take it to like my poh and just stick it like on a table or something so people can actually see it i got a bunch of caskets to open three easies 13 mediums 21 hard 16 elites and three masters and who is that behind me the lady flexing the gilded with the prim boots and red party hat the red and gold square shield is fire that's actually such a cool outfit onto the medium caskets Ooh, a Saradharma Maita. It looks like a baseball hat. I actually don't like it at all. Another item at Addy Plate Skirt G. Onto the hard caskets. Wow, two log slots from one casket and a master clue scroll, a rune, full helm tea and some bandos dehyde boots. Sixteen elite caskets, here we go. Nothing from the elite caskets brought on the bright side and now have 11 master caskets to open. Whoa, the first master casket, I get a greater demon mask. It kind of looks like the Halloween masks. Oh, no way, a tormented ornament kit, bro, that's so dope. Last casket for nothing, but I can't complain after getting that ornament kit, so let's take another peek at the collection log. 986 log slots and I'm 14 away from 1k. I was after some easy collection log slots, so I made my way over to LMS. I'm not really a PKer, the only experience I have is from playing Soul Wars, so I guess I have a rough idea of what to do. Ooh, D claws and ACB combo for the kill. The very first item from LMS, the green dark bow paint. So a lot of people who play LMS, they use all three combat styles, but I think it's just hard work using ice barrage. So instead I take Venge. I am at a disadvantage, but it's working for me. And I've killed a bunch of good players with my laid back strategy. Yo, 51 with a ballista, bro. This thing hits so high, even through prayer. Another log slot, a granite clamp. This is basically a cosmetic for the granite. Granite Maul. 26 25 DDS spec for the win. Look, he just said lol. People keep saying that when they die to me because they know I'm a noob who isn't using ice barrage or switching my gear during a fight, and I still managed to get the upper hand and win. Another log slot, a yellow dark bow paint. At this rate, I'm going to have every color of the rainbow for my dark bow, and I don't get why they don't just call it an ornament kit or a die. As if this guy just died to my venge. This is actually a good example of another good PK who is running circles around me, switching his 
his gear and prayers with maximum efficiency and I still got the better of him. A Ornite Maul handle. This is used to upgrade the Granite Maul so you can use the special attack twice. This is another good PK. He was literally hiding behind the wall after each attack. He was dominating me for the entire fight. DDS spec Venge combo with my bolt hit for another KO. These pro PKs literally underestimate me all the time just because I'm not using Ice Barrage. Some more paint to add to my collection. The White Dark Bow paint. Thinking about it now, I don't think I've ever seen anyone using any of these Dark Bow paints before. I can't believe the entire time I've been playing LMS this is my first pure fight and we can't use Venge. Oh my god we both ran out of food and we both died at the same time. You don't see that very often at LMS and he had the advantage on me because he had Ancients. Surprise surprise some more paint, a blue dark bow paint to add to the collection. Another DDS spec for the win. Look what bro just said to me as he died. He's so mad. Another log slot, a steam staff upgrade kit. LMS just loves handing out cosmetics. A lava staff ornament kit, a volcanic whip mix, a dragon pick ornament kit. Now this one is interesting because you can get a different dragon pick ornament kit from Zolcano. So basically you have two now. Boom, ACB for the win with 12 HP to spare and zero food. A frozen whip mix. Honestly, the name of all the rewards makes it sound like I'm reading from a cookbook with tons of different recipes. I'm smoking this guy. He's trying way too hard to switch to his magic gear and cast ice barrage at the same time. He just can't do it properly, so that's another easy win for me. Another log slot, a ward upgrade kit. I have no idea what this item is and I don't feel like checking the wiki right now. Another DDS spec for the win. I swear I've had over 10 close calls today in terms of running out of food but still managing to get the win. The Victor's Cape won, so basically you can get this cape for winning one game, but there's another cape you can get which requires 1000 LMS wins, but there is a way to cheat and use paid services. I'm not sure how to do it, but I know a lot of the top collection loggers have done it in order to get their capes. Technically, you could argue it's basically cheating. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I just feel like it's unfair for all the Iron Men who can't take advantage of it. A beautiful AGS spec for the win. I think this is my favorite special attack. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite special attack weapon? Trust me to get the Void Waker when there's literally only one more person to kill. I think this is the one weapon I very rarely get. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come for me to achieve RuneScape greatness and join the other elite players in the 1000 Collection Log Slot Club. Here we go, Victor's Cape 10. Woohoo! 1000 Log Slots. This is easily one of my greatest accomplishments in RuneScape. You know, it feels really weird to me. Like, after I maxed my account, I didn't know what to do. And at the same time, I had just started making YouTube videos. So then I just randomly decided to make a Collection Log series. I'm pretty sure I started episode 1 off with like 500 55 log slots. I never imagined I'd get this far in the series and at the same time I recently hit 1000 subscribers. Soon Jagex are planning on making an official high scores for the collection log as well as some limited edition staffs for people with collection log milestones. I'm actually really excited for that update. I can't wait for it to drop. And if you're someone who's bored and is looking for a new challenge, I definitely recommend giving the collection log a try. Even if you're not a fan of PVM, there's still plenty of things to do like skilling related things. You can get lots of fancy outfits, lots of unique uniques from mini games and so on. Huge shout out to all the boys for turning up and showing their support. Shall I tell you guys another cool thing about getting 1000 log slots? So in the official collection log discord there's a VIP section for people with 1000 log slots. I'll leave a link for that down below. The collection log discord is actually really helpful. Tons of useful guides as well as people showing new methods to maximize efficiency or just AFK and easy ways to get specific items. After party with the boys, I don't know whose idea this was but they're trying to cover all of Ferox Enclave with flowers. It actually does look pretty sick. Sweet, another virtual farming level 121. Level up, 105 magic. Another virtual magic level, 106. Another hunter level, 109. Mostly just from birdhouse runs because I'm trying to get the eggs so I can finally finish off the evil chicken outfit. Level up, 108 woodcutting. You've probably noticed by now that my favorite activity is just an AFK. That's enough skilling for now. So I've got 100 easy clue caskets to open. And as always, wish me luck.
Oh sweet, I actually got something, some red elegant legs. I wasn't expecting any log slots since I'm so close to finishing the easy log. The chances of getting a unique is so slim at this point. Last clue casket for nothing. You know what to do next. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a wonderful comment down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.